Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a three-part hi-fi system, source, DAC, integrated amplifier. I have found that this is the most predictable and common configuration when folks are starting out. Let's get to it. Our starting point is always the source, the main device that creates the signal that will be channeled through the rest of your system. For this demonstration, I'm using the Premier CD35 Prisma. It's a great piece of gear that offers both streaming and an amazing CD player. This gives you the best of both worlds, and I'm looking forward to actually reviewing this unit for you very soon. Now, when it comes to connecting this component, I'm opting to use a digital coax cable. Specifically, I'm working with the Kimber Cable's DV30 Digital Interconnect. Of course, this device and many other digital components often allow for the use of an optical cable, but for the system I'm working with today, digital coax is the route I'm taking. Next up in our chain is the DAC, or digital analog converter. In my system, I've chosen the Denifrips Pontus 2. This beauty is just waiting for a software update, but even as it stands, it's amongst the finest DACs I've had the pleasure of experiencing. And it's built like a tank. I'm talking about solid metal chassis. Simply connect a digital coax cable to the coax input at the back of the DAC. Give both components some power and we're almost done. Remember though, when you're in the market for a DAC, it's important to consider the flexibility it offers in terms of connectivity. The Pontus 2, for instance, is feature packed and it offers a multitude of options, but your choice doesn't have to be that crazy. What truly matters is ensuring the DAC you decide to go with provides the freedom to connect a variety of devices as per your needs and preferences. In essence, the best DAC is one that can seamlessly adapt to your audio setup, letting you add or change components whenever you want. The world of audio equipment is all about creating the perfect personalized experience, and having a versatile DAC can be a significant part of that. Once everything's connected, I'll be using Kimber Cable's Hero RCA cables to connect the DAC to our amplifier. Currently, I'm testing the new I-150 integrated amplifier from Bucart. It's impressive in its construction, and I'll be reviewing this product in depth very soon. Just connect the RCA cables to the amplifier's analog inputs. Super easy. Of course, it's not uncommon to come across amplifiers and other audio equipment that utilize XLR connections. While using this type of connection might not necessarily guarantee any upgrade in sound quality, and I personally don't believe it inherently does, it's important to accommodate for you know, such connections in your setup if necessary. You see, if a component you're integrating into your sound system exclusively offers XLR connectivity, you'd need to ensure you have the appropriate cables to hook everything up. Being prepared with the right types of cables for different connections, can save you from, you know, potential headaches down the line. Remember, the key to a well-functioning sound system is having everything linked seamlessly, and for that, you need to account for all types of connections you may encounter. The final stage involves running the Kimber Cable Bifocal XL speaker cables, which I'm using to bi-wire my Infinity Kappa 8s directly to the speakers. Bi-wiring speakers can potentially offer several benefits, especially when it comes to enhancing your audio experience. By providing separate paths for the low and high frequency signals, bi-wiring does help to minimize the potential for signal interaction or any kind of unnecessary distortion. Now, there are folks out there that see it black and white. I, I feel the cable debate lives more in the gray area, and I'll leave it at that for now. And there you have it, simple and straightforward. Sometimes people make this process seem more complex than it needs to be. The real challenge, in my opinion, lies in positioning your speakers to achieve that perfect sweet spot and acoustically treating your room for the best sound quality. If you need any further assistance or if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Although I'm usually pretty busy, I'm sorry, but I try my utmost to respond to each one of you. Also, you can catch me on Discord from time to time for a live chat and some great tech talk. Now, I've been toying with the idea of hosting a live Discord chat or maybe even a Zoom meeting exclusively for my patrons of this channel, so let me know what you think. And if you'd like to support the work I do and this channel, now would be a great time to check out my Patreon or my online t-shirt shop. Uh, you know, you'll find a collection of really cool designs there all revolving around our shared love for hi-fi. If you enjoyed the video today, I highly recommend that you listen to this new generation's music with the like button. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel to help me grow. The goal is 100,000 by Christmas. I'm a little far-fetched, but we'll see. Hey, stranger things have happened. And ring the bell to get notified every time 
new video is born. With all that said and done, folks, I'll see you on the next one, friends. Take care.